All right, welcome back, my yoga friends. A few things. One, I got a mic, okay? So hopefully uh, the sound quality will be better. I'm experimenting with it for the first time today, so hopefully everything goes well. I will keep you in the loop. Second, we finished our first round of um, yamas and niyamas. We knocked out the yamas, which was ahimsa, nonviolence, satya, truthfulness, asteya, non-stealing, brahmacharya, non-excess, aparigraha, non-possessiveness. Uh, we're going to take a little break on the yamas and niyamas. When we return, we will hit the niyamas. Um, as for today, this is our 25th class together, number 25. It's like a little celebration today. Um, and that will be our theme, celebrate. Celebrate your body, celebrate your mind, celebrate your soul, celebrate yourself, celebrate your family, your friends, celebrate healthcare workers and essential workers, celebrate gratitude, celebrate anything and everything that you can. Just make this a solid, well-rounded, awesome practice. And if you're really down in the dumps today, we get it. Breathe, get your space, and hopefully the practice will unravel for you and you'll feel so much better and you'll find a way that you can celebrate as well. All right? Um, also, for those of you who are practicing for free, awesome, keep it up. For those of you who have donated, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The donations are going to the primary bills and expenses of the studio. You are keeping us afloat, um, so thank you again for the donations. Okay, let's get in our practice. Uh, we are going to go right to a downward facing dog today. And again, I'm on this mic, so I don't know if it's recording well or louder. You might have to turn your volume up. You might have to turn your volume down. Um, it might not be working at all. We just kind of have to go with it. So thanks for being patient. I know a lot of people like to follow along with me on the YouTube videos at the same time. We are offering Zoom classes, so if you want to practice live with me or some of the other teachers, that's also a very cool experience too. And you can, you know, go to our website and go to the schedule and you can sign up that way. All right, take your right leg up into the sky, work a three-legged dog stretch. If you want, you can bend the right knee and roll open. And then step your right foot in between your hands, drop your back knee down for crane pose, and take the variation that works for you. I like to bring my hands to my thigh. It's very restful. That back leg is stretching so, so good. Okay, and then stay with me, fingertips to the ground for a half split, half Hanuman. You straighten your right leg and then you gently fold to the inside of the right leg. And this is stretching your right calf and your right hamstring. Okay, and then downward facing dog, palms to the mat, step the right foot back. And now take your left leg up into the sky. If you want, you can bend the left knee and roll open. And then step your left foot in between your hands, drop your back knee down for crane. Stretching. Breathing. And then fingertips to the ground, half split. You'll straighten your left leg and gently fold to the inside of the left leg. Okay, 
and then downward facing dog, palms to the mat, step that left foot back. Beautiful job as a team, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale through your mouth. Okay, raise your heels, bend your knees, and walk up to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep your arms high, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's keep flowing, raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or skip to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Again, raise your heels, bend your knees, walk or skip to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, yogis, now you take two rounds of sun salutation all by yourself. Start when you're ready. And let your breath take over. downward facing dog. When you get to down dog, make sure you situate your feet and really press into the circulation of your hands. Stretch your fingers nice and wide. Press into the circulation of your hands. Hey, lift your right leg up into the sky. Right knee, right tricep. As you rock into that high plank, right leg, take it high right knee to the left tricep, twist, there you go. Right leg, take it high, and step your right foot forward for crescent lunge now. Okay, your back heel is up. Get your footing correct and find your balance. Okay, stay with me. Fingertips to the ground, hold here for a second. Now don't let your chest lean on your thigh. Think about your abs and your core lifting yourself up. Stay with me, low lunge twist. Left fingertips down, right fingertips high. Now if you want, you can take your left fingertips off the ground to work your abs and your core. Staying exactly as you are, curtsy bow. Fingertips to the ground, keeping your right knee bent. You'll bring your left knee behind your right calf. Feel the heat building in your right leg. Feel the core working. Stay with me, balancing half moon. So right foot down. And left leg goes up.
stay with me. Left foot meets the right, forward fold. Exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms up, inhale. Palms to heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, sweep it high, left knee, left tricep, left leg, take it high, left knee, right tricep, left leg, take it high, and step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Back heel is up. Creating that sense of stability and balance. Fingertips to the ground, hold here now. Low lunge twist, right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Now if you want, you can take your right fingertips off the ground. And staying exactly as you are to curtsy bow. So right knee to the back of the left calf. Abs are activated, core is working, holding yourself up to balancing half moon. Left foot down, the right limbs will go up. Right foot meets the left, forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and palms to heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Time to celebrate. Move and breathe in a celebratory way. Here we go. Right leg, take it high. Right knee, right tricep. Right leg, take it high. Right knee, left tricep. Right leg, take it high. And step your right foot forward for crescent lunge. Rising up on the inhale. Fingertips to the ground. Exhale. Low lunge twist. Inhale. Curtsy, bow, exhale. Balancing half moon. Take it slow on the inhale. Left foot meets the right. Exhale. Stand up tall. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. And palms to heart center. Exhale. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. And forward fold. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway lift. And high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it to the sky. Left knee, left tricep, hug in. Left leg, take it high. Left knee, the right tricep, hug in. Left leg, take it high. And step your left foot forward for crescent lunge. Rising up on the inhale. Fingertips to the ground. Exhale. Low lunge twist. Take it up. Inhale. Curtsy bow. On that exhale. Balancing half moon. Take it slow. Breathe in. Inhale. Right foot meets the left. Exhale. Stand up tall. Sweep the arms high. And palms to heart center. Exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale it all. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. It's a good day to have a good day. It's a good day to be alive to appreciate the things that we do have, 
not so much that the things that we don't have. Two more rounds, right leg, take it to the sky, right knee, right tricep, right leg, take it high, right knee, left tricep, right leg, take it high and step your right foot forward for crescent lunge. Coming up on the inhale, fingertips to the ground, exhale. Low lunge twist, inhale. Curtsy bow on the exhale. Balancing half moon, take it slow on the inhale. Left foot meets the right, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep up, inhale. Palms to heart center, exhale, gorgeous job. Sweep the arms up, inhale, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it high, left knee, left tricep, there you go. Left leg, take it high, left knee, right tricep, there you go. Left leg, take it high, and step your left foot forward, for crescent lunge. Bursting up on that inhale, fingertips to the ground, exhale. Low lunge twist, take it up, inhale. Curtsy bow on that exhale. Balancing half moon, take it slow, inhale. Right foot meets the left, forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms up, inhale. Palms to heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Fabulous job, everybody. Keep your breath smooth, really, really smooth. We talked about that yesterday in Christina Ayako's Zoom class. And for whatever reason, if you need a quick break, maybe child's pose, maybe there's another restorative pose you want to go into for a few moments. All right, come into a high plank. And then low plank high plank, low plank, high plank, keep breathing, low plank, high plank, low plank, high plank, low plank, high plank, and downward facing dog. All right, come into a high plank. Now with your right palm down, side plank, vasistasana. I keep it pretty traditional. My legs are nice and tight. My core is strong, but also expanding. If you need to drop to the right knee, you can. And then high plank, hold here, breathe. Breathe. Left palm down, side plank, vasistasana. Legs are tight and compact, core is heating up. If you need to drop to the left knee, so be it. Okay, high plank, hold here, breathe. Hold here and breathe. Hold here and breathe. Celebrate your sense of strength. Slide forward on the tiptoes, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Woo, wee. Get your right leg up into the sky. And then bend your right knee, roll open. Either stay here or tip your dog over. So feet into the ground. Beautiful back bend here. Three-legged dog, palms to the mat. Sweep the right leg high. And then right knee to left tricep, hold here. 
either hold here or wild thing. Shoot your right leg out to the left side of the room. Now that back foot is flat so that it's all the way onto the mat and then you lean back in your spine. A three-legged dog, palms to the mat, right leg sweep it high and step your right foot forward for crescent lunge again. Okay, so back heel is up. If you are shaky, if you are wobbly, maybe play around with your footing and your stance a little bit. Draw the palms together at heart center and then prayer twist to the right. So left elbow to the outside of the right thigh, breathing. If you want, you can stretch the arms open here. Crescent lunge, come back to center, hold here. Okay, and then airplane the arms to the back of the room as you hover the chest, and you'll lean forward into that airplane pose, taking flight. Get your core about parallel to the ground, focus your eyes, breathe. Celebrate your breath. Stay with me. Stay with me. One-legged chair. Bend your right knee as you cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Stretching out the legs and the hips pretty well here. If you want to take your fingertips down to the ground, you can. Slowly stand up tall as you pull that left knee up and in to either warrior three or airplane pose again. Core is just about parallel to the mat. Focus your eyes, concentrate on your breath. Revolve half moon, left fingertips down and right fingertips go up. Left foot meets the right, Woo. inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana. Settle into your low back, settle into your core, and then draw your palms together at heart center as you prayer twist to the right. So a lot of twisting today. Go figure, I love twists in my practice. I teach a lot of them. If you want, you can stretch the arms open here. Chair pose back to center. And forward fold, exhale, gorilla. Spread your feet shoulder width distance here. Slide your palms right underneath your feet. Let your head drop nice and heavy here. Hopefully the mic situation is working. Just be playing around with it. Release from the bottoms of the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high and palms to heart center. Exhale. Sweep the arms up, full breath in, and forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, stay with me here, high plank, low plank, 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 high plank, and downward facing dog. Excellent work. Come into a high plank. Listen closely. Left palm down, side plank. 
And now if you wanted this variation, you could take your right leg up into the sky, stretching your right hamstring and your right hip. This is called balancing star. High plank, hold here, breathe. Hold here and breathe. And then right palm down, side plank. Vashistasana. If you want, you can take that left leg up into the sky. Maybe some pulses. Whatever works for you today, breathe. High plank, hold here now. And slide forward on the tiptoes, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, take it to the sky. Bend the left knee, roll open, pause, or tip your dog over. Get your feet flat into the ground. Lift your heart up really, really big. Celebrate your heart. Celebrate your heart opening. Three-legged dog, palms to the mat, left leg high, left knee, right tricep, either hold here or wild thing it. Three-legged dog, left leg take it high, and step your left foot forward for crescent lunge again. Okay, hips are facing the front of the room. And you draw your palms together at heart center and you take that nice prayer twist to the left. <sighs> yeah, a lot of people have been struggling with no heat. They're very tight, very stiff. If you feel out of it in your practice, be patient, be nice to yourself. You got this. Crescent lunge, hold here. Airplane arms to the back of the room as you hover the chest, and then you go into that airplane. Really working the left leg now. Eyes are steady. Breathe. Without letting that back leg hit the ground, we're going one-legged chair. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. You got three deep breaths here. I'm going to take my fingertips down. I like that stretch in the right leg. You do you. And then slowly stand up tall as you pull that right knee up and in. To either warrior three or airplane. We are rocking that left leg. Breathing. Okay. And then revolve half moon. So right fingertips down, left fingertips high. A very deep balancing twist. And then right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Ukatasana. Healthy bend in the knees. Get kind of relaxed and less tense in the upper body. Draw the palms together at heart center and then prayer twist to the left. Some deep, deep breaths into the belly. If you want to stretch your arms open, you can. Chair pose back to center and forward fold, exhale. Spread your feet shoulder width distance again and then take your two peace fingers, wrap them around the big toes and pull yourself down towards the ground, a deep forward fold. If your hamstrings are tight, put a little bend in your knees. That's okay. And then fingertips to the ground, inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and palms to heart center, exhale. Okay, with your right foot down, you're going to pull your left knee into your chest, and 
either you'll take your left hand to your left knee and hold, or take your two peace fingers around your big toe on the left side, and either take your left leg straight forward, or you can go out to the side for standing big toe pose. Yeah, it's kind of got that alleluia type of vibe. Celebrate it. Left foot to the ground. Bada bing, bada boom. Now switch the sides. Left foot down, pull the right knee in, go for it. Whatever that looks like for you. Some beautiful breath here. And right foot to the ground. Good stuff. Sweep the arms up. Full breath in. And forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, and high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, so I'm going to pause it here for a second. You're going to pause it if you want, and play around with your headstand, your handstand, your dolphin pose, your forearm stand hops. Maybe you're not feeling an inversion and you want to go into a forearm plank or a high plank. Let's just do that for about a minute. I'm going to take some handstand hops today, little frog hops. That's the mood I'm in. I'm having a good, productive day. Got the new mic going. Hopefully it's working. Yeah, celebrating that ability to go upside down, turn our world around on its head, explore different poses and possibilities. Really cool. There we go. Oh, that was fun. Okay, so you'll go to your downward facing dog or you go to child's pose, whatever you're needed, whatever is needed at this time. Let me take a quick look at the uh, time. Okay, perfecto. Okay, take your right leg up into the sky again and bend your right knee, roll open, pause or flip that dog over again. Here we go, lots of shoulder work today, so be mindful especially if you're in pain or you have an injury. Three-legged dog, palms to the mat, sweep that right leg high. Right knee, left tricep, wild thing. So you shoot that right leg out, lean back big. Three-legged dog, palms to the mat, right leg take it high. And then step your right foot forward for warrior two. Okay, so your back foot is flat here now. Keeping that right knee bent, you'll reverse the warrior, really stretch, and then side angle pose. Right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Now we're only here for a second. Reverse the warrior, come back up, inhale. Side angle, exhale. Reverse the warrior, inhale. Side angle, exhale. Keep that momentum going all by yourself. Just a few rounds, a little breath and a little movement. Celebrate that sense of breath and movement. And exhale. And then inhale. Finishing up your last round as you end up in that side angle pose. Okay, now you've got four to six exhales here. You can do whatever you want. Half bind, full bind, maybe some bird of paradise. That's where I'm going to go today. You know, lightly step that left foot up down, you'll take it high. Okay, 
Okay, stay with me. Keeping that right knee bent, reverse the warrior, come back up, and then straighten the right leg for triangle pose. So right fingertips down, left fingertips high. Big, big, massive stretch here. Feel it, breathe into it. Okay, and then pyramid pose. Fingertips to the ground, scooch that back foot up a little, and fold over the right leg. Fingertips to the ground, left foot meets the right. Inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Now step the right foot to the back of the mat for a low lunge on your fingertips here. Now you're either gonna hold it, or you're gonna take your palms into the ground, and we do these in Suzanne's classes. These are called jump switch. So make sure that your palms are really pressing in the mat, and then you jump and switch the feet. Okay, so you jump, switch, jump, switch. Keep that going all by yourself. Jump, switch, just some breath, some movement. Take it slow. This is gonna get your heart pumping, get a little sweat going. Finish out that last round, and you'll end up with your left foot forward again. Okay. Hold here. You take that crescent lunge. Come on up. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale. Straighten the left leg. Rotate the left toes to the right side of the room. Sweep the arms up. Deep breath in. And forward fold. Exhale. There you go. A nice forward fold there. I like to transition to each side. I'll go to the right, to the left, head out to the right, to the mat. Fingertips to the ground, inhale, halfway lift, and forward fold, exhale. Stand up tall, sweep the arms high, and then warrior two to the front of the room. Keeping that left knee bent, reverse your warrior again, and then high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take that left leg up into the sky again, bend the left knee, roll open, flip your dog. We've done a lot of these today. Three-legged dog, palms to the mat, left leg take it high, left knee right tricep. It's a wild thing, shoot your left leg out. Reach the arm high. Three-legged dog, left leg take it high. Step your left foot forward for warrior two. And then keeping that left knee bent, reverse the warrior. And then side angle pose. Keep that breath and movement going. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hold here, breathe, and then take the variation that you want to go with today. I'm going to do my bird of paradise. You might have to pause and watch my form. I'm not talking as much about form today, just kind of flowing. And then left foot to the ground. You'll Step your way back, keeping that left knee bent, reverse the warrior, come up, and then straighten the left leg to triangle pose. Left fingertips down, right fingertips high. Feels so good in the chest. And then pyramid pose, fingertips down. Scooch the back foot up as you fold over the left leg. Tremendous stretch. Good in the hamstrings and the hips. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold, exhale. Step the left foot to the back of the mat for a low lunge and hold here. Okay, now you know where we're going. You take those palms down, get situated, and then you jump and switch. Jump, switch. Jump, switch. Jump, switch. Jump, switch. 
jump switch, jump switch, keep this going y'all, take it slow, controlled, if you feel a little out of it or a little tight, just take your time, finish out your last round or two, and you'll end up with the right foot forward, to a crescent lunge, come up, inhale, and warrior two, exhale, there it is. Straighten the right leg, rotate the right toes to the left side, and then interlace the fingers at the low back, inhale, open, and forward fold. Keep the fingers, you might need to use your towel or your strap here, let your head drop nice and heavy, nice and heavy. Man, I have a lot of energy today. So I'm kind of feeling like a little hyper. This, this inversion feels nice. Fingertips to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. And forward fold. Exhale. Stand up tall. Sweep the arms high. A warrior two to the front of the room. Reverse the warrior. Big inhale. And high to low plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take your right leg up into the sky and then we're going half pigeon on the right. Just here for a minute on each side. Hips go square. Get that right shin as parallel as you can, top of the mat. I like to take my forearms down and then you chill. One minute, easy going breath here. Downward facing dog, palms to the mat, step that right foot back, give it a second or two. And then take your left leg up into the sky, into that half pigeon on the left. Work the hips straight, work that left shin parallel to the top of the mat, best as you can get it. And then that nice, I was in my poses yesterday. I took a Zoom class with Christine Yako, and you know my body was just tight. You know, it's it's not necessarily used to a non-heated practice, and um, it was frustrating. It was tough. It was a struggle. You know, but celebrate those moments because usually there's some kind of discomfort or you know a new experience. tough in the moment, but I felt so much better after I did my practice. I'm grateful for teachers like Christina. Okay, and then downward facing dog. Palms to the mat, step that left foot back. Just a little pedal with the feet, and then raise your heels, bend your knees. Hop in between your hands there. Scoot your butt back a little bit. And then take your left foot to the inside of your right leg. Let's work a nice forward fold here. Okay, and then slowly sit up. We'll switch the sides, left leg straight, fold over that leg. And then nicely sit up. You'll extend both legs to the front of the room, scooch back a little bit, and then let's take that forward fold over the leg.
and then nicely sit up as you roll all the way out to the back, hug both knees into the chest, a little sway side to side. And then extend your legs out to the front of the room. We're going to come into fish pose. This is like a little uh, chest opener and throat opener on your back here. So bring your forearms down to the ground so that your shoulders are right above your, your elbows. And then you very lightly tilt your head back. You might be able to get it back all the way. Be mindful. Nicely, pull your neck back to center, lay onto your back, hug both knees into the chest. And then you'll drop your knees over to the right for a little spinal twist, soften into your spine. And then switch up the sides. So drop the knees over to the left. And then hug both knees back into the chest. We have arrived at the end here. This is Shavasana, your final celebration. Let's take it all in. Take two deep breaths here. If you want, extend both arms at the back of the room for a good morning stretch. And then you'll drop over to your right side, curl up into a little ball. Really celebrating yourself. Press on up into your seated cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. And here we are again together. Draw your palms together at heart center. We'll finish our practice today with one sacred om. Take a nice deep breath in. Oh. I see, I honor, and I acknowledge the light and the loveliness that is within you because that light and loveliness also resides within me. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much and namaste. All right, great job yogis. That marks number 25. Can you believe it? 25 in the books. As you know, we're in it for the long haul. We're going to stick together, keep practicing, keep offering different virtual options. Um, thank you again for the donations that go a long way. Uh, that goes a long way in the process of paying our bills. So really, truly, thank you again. Celebrate yourself, celebrate your practice, celebrate your day. Make it a good day. Don't be, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer, all right? See ya.